what's an ecological footprint? The ecological footprint is a measure of human demand on the Earth's ecosystems. It compares human demand with Earth's ecological capacity re to regenerate and estimate how much of the Earth it would take to support humanity if everyone lives in a given lifestyle. So, how can we calculate ecological footprint? The easiest way to calculate the ecological footprint is to use an online ecological footprint calculator! Ecological footprint calculations are based on five assumptions. One, it is possible to keep track of resources people consume and waste people generate. Two, resource consumption and waste flows can be converted into biological productive area. Three, these different areas can be expressed in the same unit. Four, these areas can add up to a total that represents humanity's demand. Five, total human demand can be compared to Earth's supply of natural resources. How does the ecological footprint of a MEDC differ from that of a LEDC? Let's take France as our MEDC and Vietnam as our LEDC model. While France has a lower population but higher consumption, it has an ecological footprint of 4.9 global acres per capita. Much of it's because they are over consuming for each individual. On the other hand, Vietnam has a higher population but lower consumption, so it only has an ecological footprint of 1.3 global acre per capita. If the world is a balance, the footprint for MEDC and OEDC are like this. Ding! But with their population, it changes. However, as people and countries are moving to be more developed, it becomes unbalanced. With international policies and culture influences, it can affect human population dynamics and growth this way. And this way! For example, programs such as the One Child Policy in China! Before the policy, the Chinese family used to look like this. But after China imposed a limit of one child per family in 1979, the family changed. In many cases, the only child is a boy, which leads to the imbalance of China's population sex ratio. With the population, resource consumption, and technology development influence the carrying capacity and material economic growth. When population and consumption increases, the amount of resources decreases. In this way, the carrying capacity will reach to its maximum, and even This is Emily Chen, Bernie Sting, Implant ESS. Thank you for listening.